What's going on guys? Today I have a little bit different type of video. Many of you, if you've been following me for a long time, you know this trick that I like to do. It's the, the Nolly 360 Big Spin or the Gazelle Spin is what people like to call it, which I didn't even know was its official name until like the one person on the internet was like, this is what it's called and then people just started following that. Essentially what this trick is, is a Nolly Big Spin or how I thought of it when I first learned it, is doing a Nolly Big Spin backside and then just reverting it one more time so that your body does a 360 and the board does a 540, if that makes sense. All together, your board does a big spin like this while your body does a 180. You catch it on the back tail and you just pivot it the last second or if you're really good and you can pop it really high, which I don't have pop, you're able to pop it and catch it and rotate it all the way around. And this trick for me has been either like a win or loss situation and a gimmick skate or something. It's something that I can pull out when I know that someone is at T and I can just quickly do this trick. And uh, it's definitely a good one to have that not a lot of people do. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it today, which I think if you guys want to learn a quick and not, it's a little, I would say it's a little bit more of an intermediate trick to do. But if you guys want a quick trick to do on your friends and to win in a really mean way in a game of skate, you should just listen to this video because I'll, I'll take you through how to do it. So I first started learning this trick out of a bank before anything else. Um, I think one day I just got really confident and I tried doing it on flat ground and I ended up being able to pull it off. But the key to doing this trick obviously is to be really comfortable in your Nolly 360s and your Nolly Big Spins of course. But So step one is going to be learning Nolly 360s and Nolly Big Spins or at least being comfortable enough that you feel like you could uh, hop on and commit to your board every time you jump up in the air trying those tricks. So after you have these two tricks down, you I guess I could give you the option of doing it on flat ground or learning it on flat ground or trying it out of the bank. As I said before, I just don't have a lot of pop and when I was trying this trick, I kind of wanted something that would make me be up in the air a little bit longer than just having to solely commit to having to jump up in the air and wait for the whole board to spin around and then landing on it. So if you're going out of the bank, you'll have more air time with your body itself since you're kind of launching yourself up in the air for a little bit. So after you get your bank, you can try to learn the trick then. So a problem you may run into when you're learning this trick is that when you do the Nolly Big Spin, instead of it being just like a super casual, like fluid motion, you're gonna end up sticking Nolly Big Spin and kind of like force reverting the last 180 of it. And uh, as you can see, when I was trying to film this video, it happened a few times to me. And another problem you also may run into is kind of over rotating and you do the whole fluid motion correctly, but your balance isn't just right and you end up falling off of it too. Pretty much what I'm saying is that this trick isn't going to be just something you just hop on your board and you can do in the first like two tries, and if it is, props to you. I couldn't do that, but good job. This whole trick is just a commitment thing. You have to be able to trust your board when it's rotating all the way around, so make sure you just do the Nolly Big Spin that starts rotating properly and that you stay centered above your board. And after that, you just have to catch it on the tail and revert it the last second, and I know this can be a scary trick because it literally is just like a helicopter blade spinning around that can hit your ankle really hard which it will happen. But if you just commit to the trick while it's spinning around and land on the tail and just pivot the last part of it, I feel like you'll be able to, uh, I feel like you'll be able to knock this trick out pretty quick. It looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is, but I think this is a pretty easy trick in itself. So if you're confident enough uh, doing it out of the bank, the next step would be taking it to flat ground. And again, all I can stress enough about this trick is just committing to it on flat ground, no matter how much you want to jump off your board, because if you jump off, it's going to mess with your balance and stuff. So what you're really going to want to do is make sure all of the motion goes into that front foot when you're wanting to rotate the board. So that way you get a quick head start with the board spinning. And that way when you're jumping 180, you can catch it really fast and turn the last 180 of it. And since it'll kind of be like, since if you have that not only 360 motion down, you should be able to just catch the, the tail of it and just revert the last part of it. So we should see if I should do one right here. I just go up that quarter pipe over there and come back here. Oh God. I didn't commit. I kind of did it though. And that's how you, that's how you don't do it. So yes, this was a quick little explanation of how to do this trick. Um, I've been doing this trick for years now. I think it's one of the most fun tricks that you can do and it impresses people too. Like all, all those little babes that you see walking around when you're like, oh, I wanna impress them. This is the trick to do it. But yeah, try it out. Tag me in something on Twitter or something if you end up doing it. I wanna see if you guys can do the trick or not. So yeah, let me know. And if you guys uh, have any other questions, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer them to the best of my abilities if I need to. And leave me suggestions for any other tricks if you see me do and you're like, Casey, how do you do that? And it's not really a common trick tip you see people do online. I'll be glad 
to explain how to do it to the best of my ability because I'm not a professional skateboarder, but there are some tricks that I feel confident in explaining, which this is one of them. So I'll see you guys later. Maybe I can do a trick tip on this thing. Never mind, I can't do it. Goodbye guys. My eyes like super itchy because of uh, allergies. So if you're dealing with allergies, deal with that first and then you can learn an Ollie 360 big spins. It's a good idea. Rebate, rebate, rebate.